Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine and welcome to Jasmine's Reading Corner. I received a special request from one of you watchers who asked me to read another Caillou story. So the book we'll be reading today is Caillou, My Book of Great Adventures, Caillou the Picnic. Adaptation from the animated series by Michelle Belair. Illustrations taken from the animated television series and adapted by Eric Savanier. But before we get started, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. So now, let's begin. The Picnic. Caillou and his friend Leo are playing in the back seat of the car. Outside, the sky is cloudy and the wind twists the branches of the trees into strange shapes. The two boys are excited because they're on their way to the woods for a picnic, but it's taking so long to get there. We're almost there, kids, Mommy finally says. Look, there's the parking lot. Ooh, so exciting! There's the parking lot! <laughs> Are any of you excited when you see a parking lot, hmm? As soon as Daddy parks the car, Caillou and Leo run outside and put on their backpacks. They look up and see the clouds racing across the sky. They spot the picnic tables far in the distance. Mommy helps Caillou's baby sister Rosie out of the car while Daddy gets the picnic things out of the trunk. Can you all see that? I hope so. I'll go closer in. Like explorers, the group heads into the woods. They walk single file along a winding path. The tall trees are filled with birds calling out to each other. Caillou and Leo are wide-eyed with excitement as they lead the way. The fresh air smells so good. All of a sudden, they stop. It's so quiet. They feel like they are all alone in the forest. It's like the forest is your storybook about brave knights and dragons, Mommy says to Caillou. Yes, it is, Caillou answers. Caillou and Leo smile at each other, ready to find adventure. They are ready to find adventure, ready to find adventure. Can you all see that? I hope you can. The two boys gobble down their lunch. They can't wait to go exploring. Caillou and Leo are already climbing to the top of a little hill. Don't go too far, boys, says Daddy. Look at me, Leo shouts. He has pulled a branch off an old, dried tree trunk. He waves it in the air. I'm a brave knight. This is my sword. Caillou snaps off his own stick and lifts it over his head. I have a sword too, he yells proudly. This is a big, bad dragon, says Leo, hitting the tree trunk with his branch. Hit, 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 smash, smash, smash. Yeah! We're fighting the bad dragon, Caillou calls back, swinging his stick. Just then, the boys hear Mommy and Daddy calling, Caillou, Leo! 
Come back now, we're leaving. The two friends run back to the picnic table. All the picnic things are packed and ready to go. That was a really quick picnic, don't you all think? That seemed to take under two minutes. Well, at least I read it in under two minutes. Caillou feels a drop of rain falling on his nose. Oh no, it's about to rain. Maybe that's why they're packing up so quickly, hmm? Let's find out. Suddenly, there's a crash of thunder. A dragon, shouts Caillou. Let's get it, says Leo. That worked out perfectly. The thunder and lightning sounds like a dragon that they have to slay. Kaio and Leo run ahead of the group, waving their swords. It's raining harder and harder. As the thunder dragon's roars get louder, Rosie starts to cry. Oh no! Oh no! Rosie is scared! They find a little cave where they can all huddle inside, taking shelter from the storm. But Rosie is still afraid and can't stop crying. Rosie is crying and they're in a cave. What a dramatic picnic. Have you all ever had such a dramatic, scary picnic with thunder that sounded like a dragon? Look, Rosie, Caillou tells his sister. I'm a brave knight. Here's my sword. Me too, Leo adds quickly. We'll fight the dragon. Yeah, Caillou points his sword to the big black clouds in the sky. We'll protect you, he says. What a brave big brother. Are all of you big brave siblings to your younger brothers and sisters, hmm? All of a sudden, the thunder rolls away into the distance. The rain stops and the sun peeks out from behind the clouds. What a quick and fast thunderstorm. It comes as quickly as it goes. Rosie smiles. Caillou and Leo are proud of themselves as they once more take the lead back to the parking lot. Hey, my brave knights, Daddy says with a smile. Are you sure there are no more dragons around? Leo and Caio laugh and wave their wooden swords. Don't worry, Daddy. We scared them away. Yeah, they scared them away. Team effort. They got rid of the dragon. They slayed it. It went away. Yeah, which was really just thunder and lightning from a rainstorm. But that's okay. We're all pretending here. And that brings us to the end of this book. Thank you for joining me for story time at Jasmine's Reading Corner. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. And if there are any books you would like me to check out, please email me or contact me through my Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter handles. Until next time, bye!